failure sounds like something that happens instantly, but that's not necessarily the case. Heart failure means your heart is unable to pump enough blood to your body. Now that can happen suddenly, but more commonly it's a more chronic progression. In heart failure, the rest of your body tries to compensate, but eventually the system backs up and that's where the problems begin. Now heart failure comes in two different types. Heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, where the heart is too weak to pump enough blood to the body, and heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, where the heart muscle is stiff and can't relax enough to fill with blood to pump. The symptoms of heart failure can be scary and debilitating. Shortness of breath and swollen legs or ankles are both telltale signs of the disease because as the heart starts to pump less efficiently, fluid backs up in the blood vessels. When the pressure gets high enough, fluid leaks out, accumulating in the lungs, the legs, and the ankles. Other symptoms to watch out for can be a little more vague and it can include a rapid heartbeat, chest pain, dry coughing or wheezing, nausea, or just feeling really tired. Heart failure can lead to heart rhythm problems, complications in other organs such as the kidney or liver, and death. Heart failure can have different causes, but the most common one is coronary artery disease, the same condition that causes heart attacks. When the blood vessels around the heart get clogged with plaque, blood flow slows down and the heart gets less efficient at doing its job of pumping. Other causes of heart failure can include high blood pressure, diabetes, a prior heart attack, problems with the heart muscle itself, drug or alcohol use, or even infection. All things that make the heart pump less efficiently can ultimately make our entire system back up and accumulate fluid. If you're concerned about your risk factors, talk to your doctor about lowering your blood pressure, losing weight, and managing conditions like diabetes or thyroid problems. All of those things can help lower your risk for heart failure or keep it from getting worse if you already have it.